it's about 8.40 on a Tuesday morning. So I had my first grocery pickup at our local grocery store this morning and <laughs> to start the morning off, I was, I think I was supposed to pick it up at 7.30, but it, originally it said 7.30 to 8.30, so I don't know if that was a pickup window. Regardless, sorry if you guys hear background noise, they're mowing the lawn. I mean, what is life anymore? It's just, we're gonna roll with it. My alarm didn't go off this morning. So my internal alarm clock, like thinking the Lord that he woke me up this morning because I woke up at like 7.47. And so, and I was supposed to be at the store already. So I was like, oh crap. Didn't have a chance to go like over my orders. I think there was a couple of things that they weren't able to grab or they substituted, but I didn't even have enough time to like call them and be like, hey, would you be able to grab this? I was like, you know what? I'm trying to get what I get. So I go pick up my groceries and I was like, I'm so sorry, I'm late. And she's like, no, it's fine. It's really cool. On my way back home, your girl almost hit a homeless person driving home and it wouldn't have been my fault. <laughs> the town that we live in has the U-turns that go like under the highway um, so that you can turn around like the opposite direction. And so I was taking that from the grocery store and as I was coming around the corner, I was like already around the corner and I was like on the straightaway going underneath. Oh my gosh, this lawnmower, man. And as I was on the straightaway part, this homeless lady steps out into the road, which she shouldn't even, she shouldn't even be there, but she steps out into the road. And I know, I know that she saw me, like I know that she saw me because I've seen her a couple times and I've seen her with other cars and she just gives no regards to like her safety or anyone else's because I've seen her like jump out in front of cars all the time. So she did it to me. And I like slammed on my brakes and my initial reaction was like, I wanna go off on you, I wanna honk my horn, we are under a highway thingamajigger and it will be really loud and you will get my message that I am not happy that you stepped out in front of my car. And I was like, no. I stared my hands up though, I was like, <laughs> so I was like, what the heck? You literally just, are you trying to kill yourself? Like I'm confused. So I looked at her and she like looks at me and she just like, is like moseying across the road and I'm like, this is not a stop sign. This is not a crosswalk. This is a don't stop, keep driving and turn around road. On my way home, I'm just like, yo, this is like the second time that I've gone out to get stuff, to like pick stuff up since chaos has happened. And like st stuff has always like go going on when I leave. And I'm like, you know what? Like, God, <laughs> are you trying to tell me that like I shouldn't be leaving my house? Because I feel like every time I leave my house, I mean, I've only left my house twice since everything. But I feel like every time I leave, like something happens. Like last time it was with getting stuck in the construction thing, which by the way, there's no construction anymore. And there's no construction anymore. And I purposely took a different exit. Like I went, I backtracked and took a different exit closer to my house, but I backtracked to come back to where I needed to go to the grocery store because I was afraid I was gonna get stuck in construction again. But on my way home, I took that gate that had construction last time. There was no construction. It was cleared. Roads were paved, everything's fine, so. That's cool. But anyways, every time I leave, last time I left, the construction, my check engine light, still waiting to get that fixed. And I'm probably gonna wait until this whole thing blows over, honestly. And now me almost hitting a homeless lady. So I think this is a sign that maybe I just should never leave my house until this whole thing blows over. <laughs> like, guys. Anyways, good morning. Happy Tuesday. How are y'all? I'm gonna go bring my groceries in because they're probably melting in the back of my car because it's so humid today in Texas, so. Also just wanted to bring up the fact that I am Yes, I am in my PJs. I was so frantic when I woke up this morning that I threw on pants and this thing. And it is way too hot outside for this, but I didn't have a mask yet. I ordered a mask online and it hasn't gotten here yet. So I was like, okay, if I need to get into contact with anyone, I could just be like, you know what I mean? All right. Got my handy dandy gloves. again sorry for the noise they're still mowing out there but i am washing all of my fruits and veggies right now i already washed some i have all my fresh avocados bananas i washed like all of my fruits in here all my veggies are all freshly washed oh i need to clean that that is dirty and now i just have lettuce and tomatoes in warm soap and water just rinsing off right now <sighs> this is a process you guys like wow
Okay, so I wanted to show you guys the iced coffee that I've been making recently because I have been really into iced coffee and I've been bringing it from home just because we can't obviously go out. And so I wanna show you guys what I've been doing. So basically I've been taking regular, like classic roast coffee and I've been using my French press. I was using um, a coffee pot for a while, but then I switched back over to my French press because I forgot how good French press coffee is. So I've been doing that for my coffee. So I have one of these that I've been using and I just fill this with water and wait till it boils and it'll whistle once it's hot enough. And then basically I put it in my French press, do the whole thing in my jig. My French press is dirty right now, so that's why I don't have it. After I press everything, I have these mason jars. So I have a couple mason jars that I fill up with coffee. I let them cool off for a little bit of room temperature before I close the lid. And then once I do, I pop it in the fridge. And this usually lasts me for like four to five days, depending on how much I'm drinking. So I have been really liking this stuff. So what I usually do is I just take a glass with some ice and I pour it in I don't fill it all the way to the top just because honestly I don't usually finish it and I don't want it to go to waste right now so I have the ice and then I put my creamer I have been really really into oat milk creamer right now just in like a vanilla flavor but with everything going on the shortage of supplies they haven't really had much so I switched back to almond creamer especially because they have like the larger size almond creamer so this is what I have been using lately I just do a little dollop a couple little dollops like that. I use my handy dandy straws that I got and I basically just mix it up and that is it. Mmm, so good. Y'all, I think I'm gonna sit on the couch and chill a little bit. We don't really have anything planned for the rest of the day. We'll see where the day takes us, but I will check back in with you guys in a little while. All right, checking back in. It is a little after eight. The robe has came back on you know i don't know if you guys are going to see another outfit during this quarantine like this is i'm feeling really good about this like situation and take me as i am or don't take me at all anyways i'm gonna make dinner i was gonna make a chicken salad but i realized that i really want avocado on that chicken salad and i picked up my groceries today and my avocado wasn't ripe yet which i'm totally fine with but i decided i'm gonna do a pasta instead because i've actually been craving this pasta for weeks but I haven't had any shrimp. So I'm gonna make this shrimp pasta. I found this recipe from Christy Wicks on Instagram. Her husband always is like cooking on her Instagram and making like really, really yummy, super easy meals. And he made the shrimp pasta one time with like minimal ingredients and I tried it and I loved it. So I've been craving it ever since I made it that one time. So I'm gonna make it again and try and go to bed a decent time because I kind of liked waking up early this morning. Um, I almost nap, but I didn't. And I'm actually glad I didn't because now I feel like I'll be more tired to go to bed. Maybe, we'll see. That's the goal. So the goal is kind of to get back on track with like a regular schedule instead of like sleeping in super late. So we'll see. Um, but if I don't vlog the rest of the night, then I will check back in with you guys tomorrow. Alrighty guys, good morning. It is the next day. I'm feeling pretty productive today. I filmed a makeup tutorial on my brows for my makeup series. So I just finished filming that. I'm just uploading it and transferring the files over. But I also wanted to try another coffee for you guys. I have been seeing, I'm sure you guys have all been seeing actually, the um, Dalgona, Dalgona, is that how you say it? Dalgona. That whipped coffee that everyone's been like trying off of TikTok. I don't know, I don't have a TikTok, but I see it all over YouTube. I really wanted to try it because it looks very intriguing and I want to just try something different other than my iced coffee. So I have all the ingredients. We're gonna give it a try. Let you guys know how I like it. Let's see if I can do this. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna heat up some coffee because I heard you have to mix the instant coffee with hot coffee, steaming coffee, whatever, boiling coffee. So we're just gonna stick it in my dirty microwave. No judgment. And maybe I'll do like two minutes. Okay. So next, I think like, I think they were originally saying like to do two tablespoons of instant coffee. I just got this like small folders. I don't know why I thought that this was gonna be bigger. I did a curbside pickup, so I didn't really realize how small it was, but that's okay because maybe I won't even like it. So we got the coffee and then you're supposed to mix sugar. So this is what I have. So I guess I'll just put it in this bowl and then we'll add the water and whisk away. Okay, so I heard you're supposed to whisk this for like three to five minutes. So we'll see how this goes. So 
Smells good. It smells kind of chocolatey. It's definitely getting thicker. We're just gonna whisk our little hearts out. I don't know if you guys can see it very well, but it's definitely getting frothier. All right, update. It's getting thicker. The color's getting lighter. I think I still got a few more minutes of whisking, but y'all, I am seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. And it is looking very bright. Oh, look at that. How cool is that? Whoa. Okay, so I have my milk in my mason jar with some ice cubes. So I'm just gonna, I guess, pop it on top and see how this goes. Just gonna take a big old spoonful like this and just plop it on there like so. Okay, so I have it all layered. I'm just gonna, I guess, mix it now. Okay, so I have it all mixed up. Let's try it. I'm kind of nervous, I don't know why, but this is what it looks like. It has like a chocolatey burnt taste to it. I don't know if that's just the coffee that I got, but so that kind of taste is a little off-putting, but I mean, it's definitely tolerable. Like I'm not definitely like opposed to it or anything, but it's really like creamy and thick and like it though i could dig this so cheers okay guys so i just downed that coffee it was so good i definitely think i'll be making it again in the future but it wasn't as sweet as what everyone was saying like i feel like a lot of people were saying how sweet it was and maybe i didn't put as much sugar as i should have in there um but it definitely wasn't super sweet which i like i just sat outside for about like 30 minutes and it is what it was really hot outside it's about 90 degrees all of a sudden texas is like bringing in the heat i ain't mad about it like i need i need some color right now but it's also freezing in my home so i have to put my robe back on but as i was sitting out there i was just kind of thinking about my patio because i really have been wanting to like decorate my patio and just like make it more fun and like a little oasis out there especially with everything going on i really want to have a place where i can like go and be in the sun and just enjoy being outside so the last couple of days i've been looking at like sail shades and like seeing how i could hang that up on the side of my house and like maybe some bistro lights it's kind of funny because I have been wanting to get a blow up pool now for the backyard, especially like if we're not able to go to the lake. I just want to have a place where I can kind of like just like lay in the water and cool off if it's like super hot out. And it's funny because last year my husband and I would always like go on walks and we'd see like all the neighbors on um, like military housing with these big blue like blow up pools. And my husband's like, oh, we should get one of those. And I was like, it's not aesthetically pleasing to our backyard and it looks trashy. And this year I'm like, I really want one. So <laughs> I've been looking to get one. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm like totally eating my words now. Yeah, I've just been looking at that. So I think eventually once I start like actually buying stuff, I'll probably vlog that whole process too. I've also been listening to a podcast. I think it's called How I Built This. And it's about all these different like huge companies and basically how they you know, were built and everything. And it's really interesting. So I was listening to one about like Instagram Airbnb, Spanx. I was listening to one about Spanx. So it's really interesting if you guys haven't heard it. So anyways, I think I'm gonna end the vlog right here and just chill for the rest of the day. I've been playing video games lately. I know I always give my husband a hard time about it, but I've been playing Kingdom Hearts. I started it yesterday and I'm like, take me back to when I was 10 years old, man. And I'm actually kind of having fun with it. So I think I'm gonna go play some of that, have some lunch and just enjoy this beautiful day. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next vlog.